this point with a standing ovation, I want us to make welcome to the microphone our Father in the Lord, who is our provincial pastor and our daddy is here in the house. He's not alone. Our mommy is also in the house. Mommy, thank you so much for for giving us this opportunity. Thank you for giving us the privilege. We love you so much. With the clap innovation, let's make welcome our father, Pastor Adi, Adi to come. If you're clapping for Jesus, you can make it louder. Louder, louder, louder. You can make it louder than that. You cause wars to fall with your power. You burn for me. Can you there is up? nothing that you can not fix. So we've standing here only because you made. So we stand in here only because you say you made a way. You made a way. We don't know how you did it. Lift up your two hands before me. Lift up your hands before the King of Glory. lift up your hands something is about to happen to you where you are now yes just lift up your two hands yes lift up your hands yes that's the power of the lord coming your way lift up your hands it's coming your way right now right now right now right now right now Holy Ghost, my end of us, ni prayenda yaraba, li kaka yaraba, li prayenda vos, ni prayenda yaraba, vos, ni kaya vos, li malinda vos, ni prayenda yaraba, li kaka yaraba, li prayenda vos, ni kaya vos, Holy Ghost, 
Mayende bole de bos, mayende bole de bos, ni kayende bole de bos, dasi dasi dasi, take it take it take it, mayende bole de bos, ni kayende ba limpro de bos, limpro yende ba linda yende ba linde bole de bos, linde bos ni kayende bole de bos, makata yende ba limpro yende ba linde bole de bos, limpro yende bole de bos, ni kayende bole de bos, oligos 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 oligos, dasi 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 dasi, receive it receive it receive it now 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 now. Now, now, Holy Ghost, my end of the devils, me pray in the Yarava, Lika Tayadaba, Limpro Yedabo Devos, Lima Yendabo in the Yedabo Devos, Lika Yendaba Lavos, Malinda Yendaba, Limpra Yendaba, Yedabo Devos, Lika Yendabo Lavos, Lima Yendabo Devos, Lika Yendabo Devos, Lika Yendabo Limpra Yendabo Devos, my end of the devil in the Devos, Lima Yendaba, Holy Ghost, 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 my end of the devil in the Devos. Jesus. In the name of 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 Jesus. In the name of
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go 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 go. In the name of Jesus. Take it. Take it. Take it. Now. Makata ya nebo nebo. Ni ma ye nebo nebo. Ni ka ye nebo nebo nebo. Ma ye da ya ba. Holy Ghost. 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 Ma ye nebo. Ni ma ye nebo nebo. Ma ye da ya ba. Ni proshe ka ye nebo nebo. Ma ye da ya ba. Ni nebo nebo. Ni ma ye nebo nebo. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, right there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands wherever you are. The power of God is meeting you there. Pastors, can you just walk through the people? The power of God is moving there. Li ka yen de bos ni pra yen da yadaba. Li ka ka yadaba. Li pro yen de bole de bos. Li ma yen de bole de bos. Yes, ma yen da ba. Li ka ta yadaba. Yes, 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 yes. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Li pra yen de bole de bos. Ma yen da yadaba. Li ka 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 ka. Li pra yen da ba. Li de bole de bos. Ma ka ta yada yadaba. Li pra yen da ba de bos. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost, 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 I want you to lift up your two hands. Just remain silent in His presence. The power of God is here. Yes, the power of God is here. The power of God is here. Lift up your two hands before the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. The power of the Lord is reaching you where you are now. Now. Makata ya da ya da ba ba ba. Lim pra bos ni ka yen da ya da bos. Holy Ghost. Lim ma lin da bos ni pra yen da bole da bos. Lift up your two hands. Lim ma ta ya da ba. Li ka ka ya da ba ba. Ma yen da bole da bos. Lim ma lim pro bos ni ka yen da ya da ba. Lim pra ya da ba. Lim. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Li ka ta ya da ya da ba. Lim pro 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 bos ka ya da bos. Ma yen da ya da ka 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 ka. Lim pra ya da ba. Lead the boss, we pray in the Yaraba. Yes, Holy Ghost, yes, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, all over, all over, all over. Makata Yada 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 To remain silence in his presence just remain silence in his presence the lord is laying his hand upon some people here right now if you have a feel of the hand of god so heavy upon you just let him just let him 
just let him that's the fire of the Lord coming upon you you are there you don't speak in tongues you've not been baptized in the Holy Ghost run quickly here it's your turn you know you don't speak in tongues you've not been baptized by the Holy Spirit just come here quickly come here quickly just come to the altar you want the baptism of the Holy Spirit you've now received it and you want it today just come here come here we don't have all the time it's your turn it's your turn you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit that's the last call just come here right now come here right now don't, don't kneel just stand just stand the power of the Lord is reaching out to you where you are any other person you want to receive the, you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit just come just come 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 Yes, Holy Ghost, 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 don't stand behind it. Lord, I worship you. Lift up your two hands before the Lord. Shake your the bush. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit divine, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of God. Likata shake your the bully, the bully, the bush, my in the bully, the bush. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Li my in the bully, the bush. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, yes, yes. My in the boss, you pray 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 in the boss, my Receive it now, receive it now, receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Li kataye ne bos, ni praye ne bolle ne bos. Li maye ne yaraba, li kataye ne bolle ne bos. Maye ne bolle ne bos. Li maye ne bolle ne bos, ni kaye ne yaraba. Mali ne bos, li kataye yaraba, li praye ne bolle ne bos. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Li kakaye ne bos, li praye kaye ne bolle ne bos. Li maye ne yaraba. I lose your tongues in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. That's the fire of the Lord on your tongue now. Yes, you see the life call on your tongue, on your tongue. Speak in the name of Jesus. Yes, now, now, go ahead. My lead the boss, you pray. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, don't stop. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My in the body of the boss. My in the boss, you pray in the body of the boss. Me kakayada, me pray in the boss. Me ban the boss, me pray in the boss. The power of the Holy Ghost, yes, all over you. Now, now. Me kakayada, me pray in the boss. Me pray in the boss. Me pray in the boss. Just continue. Continue. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop. Me pray in the boss, me pray in the body of the boss. Yes, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Me pray in the boss, me pray in the body of the boss. Lika tayana ba, limba da ba 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 ba, limba ya da ga ya da ba 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 ba, limba ya da ba, limba ya da ba ba ba. Yes, receive it, receive it, receive it. Lika tayana ba, receive it, receive it. Makata ya da ya da 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 da. Limba ya da ba, speak in the name of the Lord. Makata ya da ba da ba da ba ba ba. Yes, receive the fire of the Lord on your 
tongue now. Yes, yes, yes. Life call, life call coming on your tongue now. Speak in the name of Jesus. Makata yada ba, limka yada ba, linda ba ba ba, sheka yada ba yada ba, ma yenda ba, linda yada ba yada ka yada ba ba, ma yenda ba, lipra yenda ba yada ba, lika yenda ba, lika yada ba 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 ba. Speak in the name of the Lord. Speak now, now, now. Receive fire on your tongue, on your tongue. Fire. In the name of Jesus, you see it, you see it. Bread, bread in the name of Jesus. Lima kata yada ba, lipra yende bo de de bos, ma yende bo 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 sheka yende bo, lima yende bo de de bos. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Lika yende bo, lipra yenda yada ba, lima kata yada ga 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 ga, ma linde bo, lipra yende bo de de bo de de bos. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Yes, all over you, all over you. Now, speak in the name of the Lord. Speak in the name of Jesus. I lose your tongue in the name of Jesus. You see the fire of the Lord upon your tongue. Speak in the name of Jesus. Yes, louder, 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 louder. louder. Lima kata yada ba, limpo de bos. Lima yende bo de bos, mika yende bo. Yes, 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 yes. Maka yende bo. Fire the Lord. Man yende bo. All over you, all over you. Right now, right now, right now. We say the back. give you praise. Lord, we exalt your name because there is no like you. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Holy Spirit divine, we give you praise. Thank you, you praise. Thank you for your presence here. Thank you for the move of your power. Thank you for healing and deliverance. Thank you for manifestation of your grace. Blessed be thy name our Savior. Thank you our Father. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's clap for the choir. Choir, God bless you. Please have your seat. Please have your seat. Hallelujah. Quickly, we look at the word of God. I don't have all the time with me. Just a little time that I have here. I believe that the Lord will maximize the time for us in the name of Jesus. Is someone here blessed already? Can somebody say thank you, Jesus? Can you make it louder and say thank you, Jesus? Can you say louder one more time and say thank you, Jesus? And to the brethren from uh, Abu Dhabi, I, I know they're on the way already. The Lord go with you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, uh, quickly, I want us to open our Bible to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts 1, 8, the Bible says... But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem. And in all Judea and Samaria. And to the end of the earth. And to the end of the earth. Hallelujah. He said you shall receive power. Somebody is receiving power here today in the name of Jesus. I said someone is receiving power here today in the name of Jesus. We will run through the book of Acts and stop where the time permits us. I believe that someone has come here today to receive a touch of the Almighty. And you are going on with fresh fire in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Brethren, this is a special fire conference like no other. And I believe the Lord that by the time you reach your home, people will know that the hand of the Lord has indeed touched you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you say louder, amen? Yeah. In Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Acts chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4. We see the fulfillment of the promise. Bible says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come. I don't know someone in the house that has received the promise of the Lord and is asking, when will it be? The time is now. Tell yourself, the time is now. I can't hear you. Can you make it louder? I say, the time is... When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. 
I want to believe that if there's someone that the pastor or the leader forced to be here, by the time they arrived here, they have flown into the spirit of the place and they are already in one accord with everyone who came willingly. So it doesn't matter how you came. By the special grace of God, we are in the special vehicle, the accord that God has provided. And we are in one accord today and the day of Pentecost has fully come to us in this province, in the life of the youth, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Someone is going no more with more than their expectation in the name of Jesus. If you are the one that Lord is talking to, say, God is talking to me. Can you make that louder if you are sure? Bible says, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. God gave instruction. Men followed instruction. Fulfillment came. You are in the house today. You are here by instruction. Your leaders, your pastor probably told you you need to be here and you are here because you have obeyed instruction. The time of fulfillment in your life is now in the name of Jesus. I don't know who has been struggling for long. Someone is even washing his net. Is thinking, must I leave you AE because things are not working. It's going to work for you. I say it will work for you. Tell your neighbor it's working for me. It's working working for me. It's working for me. Can I hear a witness shout hallelujah? Bible said the day of Pentecost was fully come. These were men and women that were hiding because their Lord and Savior was killed. And so they could not come again into the open because they were afraid. But suddenly, the day of Pentecost come. Someone is in the house today. Your day has come. I say your day has come. I say your day has come. Tell yourself my day has come. In the name of Jesus, the fulfillment of his promise came. It's not a promise and fail God. When he says a thing, he will do it. The problem is what has he told you? What has he said to you? The word of God has been coming left, right, and center today. What has God told you personally? What has God told you as a person? What have you heard from God since we arrived here today? I don't know what you have heard, but you can hear more. If you have heard nothing, it's time to hear now. And as you hear the Lord and you do the will of the Lord, you will return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, there was fulfillment of his promise. He gave an instruction. They obeyed the instruction and he fulfilled his promise. I don't know what the men of God that God put over you in your various churches have been telling you. The time to obey instruction is now because when you obey instruction, there will be fulfillment. And do you understand what I'm talking about? Because the eyes of the Lord goes with a man wherever he goes. If God has asked you to go to a place, the eyes of the Lord will go with you. And though, for example, your pastor, your leaders announced to you that you need to be here today and you are here. I can assure you, you are not living empty. Tell your neighbor pastor is talking about me. I'm not living empty. I'm living fulfilled in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe that, shout Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 2 verse 5. Acts chapter 2 verse 5. They began to see immediate result. Somebody say immediate result. I say immediate result. They were surprised. They said what is happening here? We have never seen it like this before. We know these men. They are ordinary men. How come something great is happening out of, out of their life? Maybe you are in the house. You read philosophy. And you have found yourself in UAE. And you cannot see where to apply philosophy. The God that made the heaven and the earth. Because you are here today. He's going to do something great in your life. That the one that people say is useless is going to become useful. Is someone listening to me? That which they've told you there's nothing you can do in this land with it. You're going to do great with it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every man that has been thinking am, am I going to fail? Failure is never going to be your portion in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has experienced failure before in one area or the other, your season of failure is over in the name of Jesus because the hand of the Lord is touching you here. The power of the Lord is coming all over you here. You are not going the way you came. You are going back a different person. They will see you and say we knew you before. Those who know you before they will not know you again. Because God will have done transformation in your life. In the name of Jesus. They say we know this man. These are ordinary men. How come they are speaking in tongues? What are they saying? They are even speaking in our language. You will speak the language of wealth. I say you will speak the language of prosperity. 
you will see the speak language of possibility. You came to look for job, you will employ people. I say you will employ people in this land in the name of Jesus Christ. Favor is going to come our way again. God is opening afresh in the name of Jesus. May I tell you something? When I arrived into this land, it was with fanfare, with honor. They meet you at the airport. They pick you up. They take you to an hotel. They make sure they take care of your of you. They show you the houses you will stay. You say I don't want this one. They say give us time to search again. They, when they came to bring my car, it was nine kilometer nine. It was a land cruiser. What suddenly happened? I came here with a master's degree in mechanical engineering. People are entering now with PhD and they are looking at us as if we don't exist. Brother, the season of favor is returning because the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon everyone here. We are starting the fire and everyone we encounter will see the fire. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, things are going to change for good again. Your testimony is returning. In the name of Jesus, you didn't come here to fail. You came here to succeed, to become an employer of labor, to help the helpless. In the name of Jesus, if God is talking about you, say God is talking about me. Brethren, the crowd began to respond. They said, we have never seen it like this before. You are going on with the fire of the Holy Ghost today. You are going on with the power of God. People are going to see you and say, we have never seen you like this before. Things are going to be changing for your good. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 2 verse 5, you see it. They that were dwelling in Jerusalem, devout men from every nation under heaven, when they see these things, they say, we have not seen it like this before. Something testimonial is coming out of your life. I say something testimonial is coming out of your life. People will marvel. After this conference, after this program you're going to experience immediate result in the name of jesus your time of waiting is over tell your neighbor my time of waiting is over it's over it's over it's over that neighbor is not agreeing with you turn to another neighbor my time of waiting is over my season of testimony is now in the name of jesus and then by the time you come to act chapter three these men that were hiding this Peter that was hiding with all his men and they, were, they didn't know what to do. They've killed their Lord. And so they didn't know what to do again. In Acts chapter 3, the Bible says from verse 1 to 8. Acts chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8, you know, Peter, after receiving the Holy Ghost, someone is going home today with a full load of Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I don't know whether there's a Peter in the house. Maybe you are the one God is talking about. You are going to Rasa Kema with a full load. In the name of Jesus. To Fudera with a full load. In the name of Jesus. To Abu Dhabi with a full load. They are on the way taking it down to Abu Dhabi. The fire of the Lord from coast to coast. From Abu Dhabi to Fudera. Passing through Dubai. Passing through Sharjah. Passing through Rasa Kema. Passing through Ajman. In the power and the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Passing through McQueen. In the name of Jesus. The fire is going to kindle fire. People we know that we have encountered God. We are no more ordinary. In the name of Jesus. God is talking about you. Say God is talking about me. Hallelujah. The Bible says. In Acts chapter 3. You know, if you read the story from verse 1 to 8, Acts chapter 3, verse 1 to 8, they began to manifest the power of God that they received. The same Peter that was afraid, after he received the Holy Spirit, he was bold enough. He just looked at the man and said, you've been sitting here. Every time we were passing, we could not do anything. But now we are going to do something. There's someone in the house. I said, what the Lord is going to do for you today, it will encounter, it will affect anyone you encounter in the name of our lord jesus christ you are going to be getting angry in your spirit and say well, how can you say you have not found a job it's time for you to find a job the lord is going to release fire here today such that by the time you get back to your church everything will turn around for good in the name of our lord jesus christ we are opening the door of that employment in the name of jesus we are opening the door of that visa in the name of jesus i said we are taking over enough of id it is time for us to knock the door and the door will open in the name of Jesus. Do season are returning in the name of Jesus. No more empty life, no more empty church, no more empty family. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I hear. I hear. Peter and John went up together after receiving the Holy Ghost. 
when you have received what the Lord is releasing upon you today, you and your friend is going to say, let's go through this mall. Let's just speak in tongues in this mall. Let's cause commotion here by just speaking in tongues. Let's just move in this place. But then we have taken over territory in the past. We let it go line by line, step by step. We are taking it back. I said we are taking it back in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will call your brother and say, bro, where are you? What are you doing? He said, I'm doing nothing. Now meet me at the, at, 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 meet me at, at, at the, what they call it? Where the water is. Meet me there at the college. Meet me at the college. He said, what, what's happening there? When you come, you will know. Give me your hand. It's time to speak in tongues. And you go up and down two, three times. And, and from that moment, big, big things begin to move. The power of the Lord begin to move. Others who come to the place, they just would not know what is happening to them. And then suddenly, you have caused a revival at the college. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, where you are walking, you just need one more brother with you to agree that where you are walking, things are turning for good. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Brother, we are living here today with the power of the Holy Ghost. We are not living the way we came. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are taking over the land. He sent us here for a purpose. He didn't send us here to be hiding. We were not hiding when we arrived 50 years ago. We cannot be hiding now. We should be in the open. Proclaiming the counsel of God everywhere we go. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot keep quiet. You can't carry fire in your bosom and keep quiet. You're going to take over that cornice again. You're going to take over, take over that mall again. You're going to tell your brother, what are you doing? We are going to sow so more. And then you go into the mall and speak in tongues for 15, 30 minutes. And you return home. And you begin to hear the result. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every door that the enemy has locked, we open it today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 3, when they got to the temple, they began to manifest what they have received. I mean, when they got to the temple, they saw the lame man. Temple is beautiful. His life was not beautiful. And they said, we are in this land. That's what we are going to be doing. We are going to be declaring, how, how can I live in, in Umakwe? And Umakwe will just look like this. And I'm living here. No, we are changing it. And you call your brother. Brethren, enough is enough. And you call your brother and say, bro, where are you? Meet me at Al Manama. Old Al Manama. I don't know what they call it now. Meet me there. Meet me in the front of Al Manama. Say, let's go. Say, where are we going? We are... We are just speaking in tongues in this land. We are releasing fire in Omakwe. We are turning things around for good. And then you begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. You begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. And when you take your time, you've been going for one hour away from your house. And you begin to come back another one hour. And then you return. I don't know who was with me a long time ago. We will go to the college in Kofakan. And then we know that the journey there is 30 minutes. From end to end of, from, from that hotel, Shonik Hotel, to the end of the college is 30 minutes. And then we just walk down. And then we just walk back. For those who know Fujera, we go to the umbrella beach and begin to decree the counsel of God. Oh, no wonder God was doing great and mighty things. That time must be now. 15 years ago, I was younger. You are younger, now it's your turn. I say it's your turn, and I'm not too old to do as well. It's your turn. Take over the locations, take over the places. We ask ourselves, where are we going today? So let's go to Lulu Mall. And then we enter the place and begin to declare the counsel of God. I arrive here an adult. I enter this land at 40 years old, almost 40. Do you understand me? And you are youth. You can't just fold your arms and let this happen. But then when men slept, enemy just took charge. Now we are taking over. Is someone in the house joining me? I said we are taking over. We are taking over. We are taking over. In the name of Jesus. The brethren in Dubai. You share the place among where you live. You know where your house fellowship is. You know the mosques that are there. You don't need to have any money in your pocket. You're not buying anything. You are just declaring righteousness. Enough is enough. We've been hiding in the corner. It's time to come out and declare the counsel of God. We are the apostles of now. The act of the apostle must be written again about us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say God is talking to me. If God is talking to you, say God is talking to me. If God is talking to you, say God is talking to me. Let someone shout early. Hallelujah. And when you begin to do it, you will first see the first miracle. You know, you see a miracle like they saw in that act chapter 3. They just told the man, we are carriers of fire. We've been seeing you here when we didn't have fire. Now we have fire now. And so you have to rise. And they spoke to the man. And the man was looking at it. Will I really rise? And he rose. God will use you. I said, God will use you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The fire in them began to affect other people. And the, and the man rose up. And of course, as soon as there was first miracle, there was also the persecution. Because when you see good things, you must prepare. You must know that, I mean, how do you go to the house of a, of, of a strong man and spoil his goods? 
and not expect a reaction. We call it reaction. Say, bro, how is it going? Say, those people, they say they want to reduce my salary. Say, don't worry, not the reaction. <laughs> you know what we, what we do last week? I mean, you can't shake and not expect something. But don't worry. Something is going to happen. When they, you know, when they want to reduce your salary, you reply, say, ah, why? And then suddenly you appear before the manager, the man you have never met. You have always been in the corner. And then the man in the corner said he want to reduce your salary. And probably he did it the first one. He said, where's my money? He said, I reduce it. Ah. And then you appear before the manager. And the God of, of that Enoch Adebo Yadiyari, which you carry, follow you to the front of the manager. And the man said, we have such a gem in this company. You know, the persecution may bring promotion for you. As many that are in the house that are already passing through persecution, you are living this place with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And when you appear before your bosses, they will say, we don't know that we have a real gem like this with us. The Lord will elevate you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I said, the Lord will elevate you. If you look at it in Acts chapter 4, the persecution came and then it became an opportunity for them. You know, an opportunity for them to stand before power. Because, because of persecution, they were able to stand before power and they spoke the word of life. And you know, Gamaliel said, <laughs> These ones that I see, I don't think we can fight them. Everyone that fights you will lose in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you what they do they put both face. But if you stand your, if you stand your ground, now then go shake. Do you understand? You understand what I'm talking about? Those days when you reach a fruit junction, I say, Oh boy, you know if you stand for this. Who born you? Nothing there. But you tell them who born you now. You know, say, because people are many. If you see that you fight back, it leaves you and go to someone else. That place where they stand now, now person they clean up. Are you the cleaner? As you ask, are you the cleaner? He walk away. But if you say, ah, no verse, no verse. Ah, he knows that this one. I don't catch him. But then when the persecution will come, just remember that the Lord Himself has made a way of escape. You are only walking through the book of Acts. As great things are happening in your life, persecution will start coming. Even the fact that there is no visa for certain nationalities now is persecution on its own and is ending today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Brethren, he said, Ye shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. I don't have all the time. We will decree what we want the Lord to do. And the fire of the Lord will remove that which the Lord has not planted. In the power, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every tree that my father has not planted shall be uprooted. There's no failure among us. No weakling among us. Nobody is running to return home empty. Nobody is borrowing money to buy ticket home. Nobody is going to be deported again. We're taking over in the name of Jesus. We take over in the spiritual realm. We establish it in the physical. In the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No more failure among us. In the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every element of failure. Die in the name of Jesus. Every trace of failure dry up in the name of Jesus. We are excelling. We are succeeding. In the name of Jesus. Ask those who have been here for long. We were alternative to British. We are alternative to, to Westerners. If they cannot pay the bogus salary, then they pay the next bogus. That's what we earn. That's what we came here to earn. We were well respected. We will be respected again. The honor is returning. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. The honor is returning in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Brethren, you are catching fire from here. It's going to affect your neighborhood in Jesus' name. It's going to affect as many that associate with you in the name of Jesus. In Acts chapter 5 verse 12. Acts chapter 5 verse 12. Instead of the timer, can you give me scripture? Acts chapter 5 verse 12. Is someone there to... Uh, God bless you. And through the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. And they were all we want a God in Solomon porch. Now listen to me. We don't leave this place and begin to cheat people. We don't sell visas that we don't have. We don't open our legs to all manner of demonic people because we need money. We must live in righteousness for us to have our way. We must live a transformed life for the enemy not to come back and say you better because let me tell you the way it is if you have a goat and the goat escape because you are keeping the goat and feeding the goat and it's roaming around and the goat escape and you run after the goat and you, you are able to in fact sometimes you see a goat and they say what is that say are they my goat they slap you but finally you find your goat and you brought your goat home I think you're going to chain that goat I think you're going to cage that goat I think you can even staff that goat for the first two days. 
Because you remember how what you suffered when you were looking for it. Brethren, the devil has lost so many people in the house. You can't return to the devil. Oh, no, 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 no. You must get to the point. Hunger will not kill you. Hunger will not kill you. This youth fellowship will take care of one another. I said this youth fellowship will take care of one another. God will take care of you. Hunger will not kill you. What you shouldn't do is to make attempt to cheat people. Don't have 10 and go to the one that have to and say, I don't even get anything. No, 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 no. Don't do that. But your new needs, this body is more than enough to meet the need within this body. Is someone listening to me? We are not poor. We are not. We just need to make sure that we are playing to one another and we distribute the resources according to the book of Acts. Do you understand me? Don't say how much is our levy in the youth group. They turn the round. If the Lord has blessed you and you earn 5,000 and above, your own levy is not 10 dirham per month. Just call the treasurer and say, add it to the money. Do you get what I'm saying? That is the way, the acts of the apostle. That's what we call the acts of the apostle. That's the beginning before power begins to come. That's the acts of the apostle. They that have, have enough, they that lack, they that didn't have, lack nothing. That is the acts of the apostle. That's what we should return to as the body of the youth. Don't say what is the levy. Five, five dirham. My brother, you're on 15,000 dirham per month. You, you shouldn't give five dirham at the end of the month. We shouldn't know who didn't have among us. That's the way you should go. Do you understand me? Our church serve. They don't even give food after service. You don't need to wait for the church. We are youth. Is someone listening to me? We are the driver of the church. We are youth. It is all you stay behind. And then the mommy will say, ah, this meat pie, I know you give us. That's the way you should be. Is someone listening to me? Did you catch what I've just said? You go back to your youth group and tell yourself we are taking over. We are in charge. Brethren, that the boy was under 40 when he became our geo. Do you understand what I'm talking about? We are in charge by the grace of God. God has delivered the assignment into your hands. If I jump like this today, I'm not sure I can jump like that tomorrow. But he can jump in the morning and jump in the afternoon. Because his glory is his strength. Thank God we are youth. In Acts chapter 5, I'm jumping. In Acts chapter 5, we, we find the first project. When great things begin to happen, because it's going to happen. When great things begin to happen, don't make yourself the victim. Don't make yourself the victim. Don't carry over the practice of the world because this youth body is going to do great things. Don't carry over the practice of the world. Don't hide anything behind. Don't go behind the entire fellowship and begin to behave in a way that is uncomely. Don't be the one that is calling people in Nigeria and say, ah, visa, visa day, send money, and then you put up the phone. Don't be the one. Everyone that was like that became a victim. That's what you saw in Acts chapter 5 from verse 1. Acts 5 from verse 1. We see the story there. As the miracles began to happen and things were going well, we see people that were not regenerated becoming part of the fellowship and things began to happen negatively in their life. One day, a husband and a wife died. Why? Because, you know, they had a hidden agenda. This is not a fellowship to have a hidden agenda. What the Lord wants to do when the Lord is moving and is removing the enemies, he will not ask, are you Isaac, are you John? He will not ask that you have the name in the Bible does not matter. Your position in the youth school will not matter. You minister at the last program will not matter. What will matter is, are you standing? Is someone listening to me? Anani and Safira, they were the owner of the property. But what happened to them is that they, they, they didn't go fully with God. You can't be a part of this fellowship and be cooking out to get people's money from Nigeria and say, ah, visa, visa. No, you can't be that. Are you listening to me? There are many names that people call that you cannot be part of that names again. You can't answer fraud. You cannot be part of it. We are the changers of the land. We are going to change narratives. Is someone listening to me? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 5, we see the first project. 
Because God was doing great things and there were men that look at it and say, we can deceive this God. You cannot deceive God. As you leave this program, as you live here today, you have to be a completely changed person. A, a true ambassador of the Lord wherever you find yourself. In your church. Thank God UAE is not a church where we buy fuel for generator. What was telling the other in technical? I say me. <laughs> Our generator, you know they lack fuel. You know, I don't buy for church. I just buy for myself. What? God? God that can give you a petrol station is the one you are stealing his fuel. God. You think he didn't see you? That's what happened to Anani and Safira. They were the owner of the property. And look at the question they asked them. When it was with you, was it not yours? Did anybody force you? Brethren, it's better to be completely outside there than to deceive oneself that is in the house. You didn't get that. We must get to the first listen to me hunger will not kill you but you must get to the point that that you will say hunger would rather kill me than for me to take that which is unholy did you get that whichever way it is in Acts chapter 5 we see the first purging of the church brethren there's no doubt that the lord is going to do great things in our midst i pray that you will not be the one to be purged in the name of jesus as soon as the purging took place in Acts chapter, in Acts chapter 5 verse 12, Acts 5 12, I mean, uh, you, you began to see that there were signs and wonders happening. Brethren, we're getting to the point where you are the one that will be laying hands. This year, you have pastors ministering to you. Next year, you see us sitting down and listening to you. All we will do is to bless you. Is someone listening to me? Is someone listening to me? I said, we will we be there listening to you. I said, that, that's my son. That's my daughter. And all we will do later is to say, pastors, let's bless this church. And all of us will file up here and bless you. That's where we are going. Because great things will be happening in your life. Great things will be happening in your home in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, if you go to Acts chapter 5 verse 12, through the hand of the apostles, Many signs and wonders were happening. Many signs and wonders were happening. And then in Acts chapter 6, they began to choose those who are not even opposed. Read Acts chapter 6 from verse 1. Acts 6, 1. Now in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplying, verse 2, then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples. Crowd! If the power of God is, uh, is, is, is flowing freely in your life, in our midst, in the body of the youth, you don't need to tell your colleague in the office to come to your church. It seems that your life has changed for good. So you want to be in that church. So people began to come. And the twelve said, no, we will not be sharing bread. Let's appoint people that will be sharing bread. And when they appointed, they appointed seven people. But two of them were different. Let pastor discover you one day. I say, what? That's how they discovered us. For me, they were going to camp and say, are you going? I said, I'm not going. They said, okay, preach on Sunday. That's all. And they returned. You know, there was no CCTV, no television, no. They returned and people began to. And I was thinking, I need to leave this parish. I've been unfolded. Let me leave here and go to where nobody know me. So they summoned the multitude. They appointed seven among them as deacons. But God's hands were upon two specially. One of them was Stephen. Brethren, he was there sharing table. You can, I don't know the assignment they have given you. Don't worry yourself. They didn't pray for you as a minister. Don't bother yourself about that. Where you are is where you are ministering. Choir, I think choristers, all of you have been here today. Huh? Look at us, we are pastors. Not all of us can come here today. So, where God has put you to serve, serve there. So, these men were called to, to share the table, share bread. But these were not ordinary men to be cutting bread. These were men that even to cut bread, they say, Father, this bread that I'm cutting, anyone that eat from this bread. These were this kind of men. We used to have them when we were growing up. When they walk, one leg will go like this, one leg will go like this. It's prayer they were praying. And every time, 
Remember those small, small boys in worry those days? That's what I like with it. Now, prayer. When I heard that one of them is a doctor, I didn't know when he knew biology. He just decided to be a doctor and told God, ah, Dr. Goodall, God, I want to be a doctor. And somehow, somehow, he began to understand biology, chemistry, physics. And he's a doctor. He's a doctor. Went to the university and graduated. A doctor. Is someone listening to me? They seek out from among you seven men of good reputation. People that have integrity. What does that tell you? There were people in the move of God that had no integrity. God was moving mightily and men without integrity were among them. That's what it means. Why should you be looking for men that have integrity? You should just say any seven. Is it not? So you cannot be those ones that have no integrity. If there were men with integrity, it means there were men without integrity. That's why they were seeking. When they're seeking for men of integrity, may they find you. Women of integrity, may they find you. Do you know the way to, to be a man of integrity? It's a decision in the heart. I said, let the worst come. There are certain things I cannot be part of. Do you understand me? I know it will not let you to, it will not allow you to be disgraced. But there are things they can't meet you there. I cannot be part of this. And as you are living here today, the fire of the Lord is going with you. I said, the fire of the Lord is going with you. So they said, let's choose from among them. And they chose seven, but God chose two. Because the other five, now if I ask you, you don't know their names. But from among them was Stephen and Philip. And these men were different. They were like apostles in waiting. Rise on your feet, we want to pray. Rise on your feet. They may not choose you as a youth leader in your church. They may not even look at your direction for any assignment. But the fire of the Lord you are taking away from here today. Choir, can you come up here? The fire of the Lord you are taking away from here today. We single you out. We make you to be totally different. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands. We want to pray. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. We're going to be receiving the fire of the Lord afresh again. But where will the fire of the Lord rest? The fire of the Lord will rest upon people that are ready. People that are purged. You will do the same. You will not put your food in a plate you have not taken care of. The Lord wants to take care of the issues of your life first. Even as your hands are up. I want some people to join me here. You want to completely, completely say, Lord, I surrender my life to you. It my, my, my desire is to do your will all the days of my life. I will not allow hunger or lack to push me here and there. I just want to live a life of righteousness and holiness. As you are there, come quickly. Come quickly. We don't have all the time. I want to pray for you. And the power of righteousness will come upon you. And you begin to live a life of righteousness from today. You want to say, Lord, here I am. I surrender all to you. I surrender my life to you completely. I just want to move from this level to a higher level of service. I want to give my life completely to you, nothing behind. Because I know you are the only one that can help me. You want to say that, just come quickly. Just come quickly. You have heard the word of God. You want, don't want to be an ordinary Christian. You don't want to be just a church goer. You want to be the one that fear God and serve God all the days of your life. You don't want to rise and fall as you are doing currently. You want to live a life of holiness and righteousness every day of your life. We don't have all the time. Come now. Come now. Come and join my brother here because I want to pray for you. The power of the Lord, the power to, the power to live for God is what the, the Lord is about to release upon you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, ma. Anyway, God bless you, my brother. Just come quickly. Just come quickly. We are the celebrant of today. The Lord is starting with you right now. Your life is never going to remain the same. Any other person, you just want to catch this fire. You want to give your totality to God. God bless you, my brother. Just come here. Just come here. Any other person, come here. Don't stay behind anyone. Take your own position. Any other person before we pray. God bless you, my dear sister. Just come to this side. God bless you, my sister. Come to this side. Come to this side. Come to this side. Any other person? Any other person? Any other person before we pray? 
Oh. Any other person before we pray? As you are here, just tell the Lord, Lord, I just want to live my life for you. I have come to you today. Lord, help me. Save my soul. Help my life. If you are there, you know you should be here. Don't let the enemy cheat you. He has allowed you to pay transport fare. He has allowed you to spend all your time. But he denied you of the opportunity to receive what you came for. You know you should be here. Just come quickly. Tell the devil you can't hold me any longer. Any other person, come. We are already praying. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. Come, come. Come. Don't listen. Just come. Lose yourself. And then you receive the freedom completely. You are there. Begin to talk to God. God bless you, my sister. Come, 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 come. Just come. You are still there. Please come. Just come. Just come. Just come. Just come. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. God bless you. You are okay there. Any other person before we pray? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want all eyes closed. There's still someone that needs to be here. You know, the Holy Spirit cannot lie. It's your time, it's your day. Don't let the devil deceive you. Don't let the devil cheat you. God bless you, my sister. All eyes remain closed. All eyes remain closed. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Just come. Just come. Keep coming. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my brother. The help of the helpless is in the house. God bless you. 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 That's fine. God bless you. If you are not here, if you are not in the front, if you are in your seat, close your eyes and talk to God and bless the name of the Lord. If you are on your seat, just bless the name of the Lord. And say, Lord, thank you. Just say, Lord, thank you. But even as I pray for these brethren, and, I, and you know you should be part of them, I beg you, don't let the enemy let you go out of here because he knows what he's planning. If you know you should be in the front here and you are not here, just come now even as I pray. My beloved brethren in the front, lift up your two hands. I want to pray for you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say the Son of Man shall make you free. You shall be free indeed. That's the word of the Lord. If the Son of Man shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Lord, these hands are lifted unto you. These hands desire freedom. I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. Holy Ghost, I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. I pray the bondage of sin over these hands. Jesus, Lord Jesus, come in, come in to me, come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and I surrender.
our eyes to remain closed. My brain that are in the front, um, I need your name. I need your number. I also need you to put your parish. I want to be praying for you. So somebody will lead you. Just rise, rise up. Stand up where you are and just follow the pastor. They will get your name and your parish for me. I want to be praying for you. God bless you. The rest of us, close your eyes. Because if they watch me, they go. Close your eyes. I want you to lift up your two hands unto the Lord if you are in the congregation. Just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Yes, yes, praise him. Just bless his name. Just bless the Lord. May the power of the Lord come down. Amen. Just lift up the two hands. will be leading us in that song why you will request for three things before the Lord three things that are so important to you at this time that you want to testify about you ask them those three things present them before the Lord three things before the Lord that you want him to do choir up your hands even as we pray just lift up your hands as we pray remain silent in his presence because the power of the Lord is still moving in the house someone is experiencing a surgical operation Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit, this is your meeting. Holy Ghost, yes, moving from my right side now. Yes, yes, towards the back. Holy Spirit, just release yourself for the move of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, it's coming all over you. Lee Masheka Yanda Bush. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Malinde Bush. Yes, 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Lee Makata Yarabush. Yes, that's it, Holy Ghost. Does it, does it, does it? Lima Sheka Yen the Bos Nepra Yen Daba. Nobody carry fire in their bosom and remain. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the fire. Receive it. Malin the Bos Nepra Yen the Yaraba. Lika Tayarabos Nima Yen the Bolo Bosch. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. Malin the Bos Nepra Yen the Yaraba. Holy Ghost. Yes, 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 yes. 
Yes, sweet spirit of God. Sweet spirit of God. Yes, yes, yes. Just release yourself. The power of the Lord is coming all over you. All over you. All over you. Likata yaraba li prosheka yen ne bolede bosh. Lima yen na bolede bosh ni ma yen da yaraba. Lim pro bosheka yen ne bolede bolede bosh. Ma yen ne bolede bosh. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Likata yana bas ni pra yen ne bolede bosh. Ma in the bosh ni ka yen da yaraba. Li pro bosh ni ka yen da yaraba. Lima yen ne bosh ni ma yen da yaraba. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in this solemn assembly, we look unto you. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing your power cannot do. Lord, we ask even now that everything that is strange in the life of your people, we command them to disappear in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, li kata shaka yaraba li de bos, ma in da bos ni prayen da yaraba li kata shaka yaraba li propos ni kayen de bolede bos. God of all possibilities, li kata shaka yaraba. The Lord is turning things around for someone. You cannot see the way out, but the way maker is making the way for you. Li ma yen de bos ni prayen da yaraba li koko shaka yaraba. You've been everywhere. They've told you it's impossible. The God of all possibility is coming your way now in the name of Jesus. You'll be having all manner of terrible dreams. That is over now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Silence, please. You did something wrong and you were cursed. But the one that breaks curses is saying, because you are in my presence today, that curse is broken in the name of Jesus. There's someone in the house. Everything they told you, you've tried it and it's not working. I don't know what the details is. But the one that knows all things says he has done it. Can you say thank you, Jesus? The sweet spirit of God. Lima sheka yen de bush, the one that make way where there is no way, is making way for you in the name of Jesus. Someone is the house. You've been at the mercy of people helping you. He's saying I should tell you that even in this same month, you will help others in the name of Jesus. Things are turning around for your good in Jesus' name. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Just go ahead and bless his holy name. Give him praise and exalt him.